I bought two of the brand new $100 RCSV collection boxes. They're extremely hard to find, no distributors are selling them, you can only get them at like GameStop. Which is why I wanted to get some, crack them open to see what's inside. Mainly to know if it's worth the $100 or not. So opening up our first box, as you could obviously see, it just looks beautiful. The design is great, the stars are great, the reflection kind of rainbow look of it looks awesome. And then upon opening the box, you can get an idea of what all is inside. For starters, some of the coolest things that you get are these metal Arceus V Star and Arceus V cards. Again, these are metal cards, they're reflective, they have texture on the front and back of them, they feel cool, they look cool, really, really awesome things that come with this. And of course, it's the god of all Pokemon. Then opening up the smaller themed box that you get, which is also really, really nicely designed, you've got your Arceus coin in there, your V Star little thing magnet, and then your dice. And what's a collection box without a playmat? And it's a big, vibrant space Arceus playmat, which is very cool. So that's a W, we'll take that, and then obviously all of the sword and shield packs, which is a wonderful mix, which we're gonna hop into, open up and check out now. Okay, so taking a quick closer look here at the Arceus cards that we get, because they're so cool. The metal Arceus V, again, the texturing on the front, the reflectiveness of the metal, and the fact that even on the back, like the, the Pokemon logo, how it pops so, so nicely, and it feels textured. Really, really cool card. Obviously the big one is this one right here, the V Star card, which looks, I mean, incredible. And again, feels awesome. Front has texture to it. You can feel like the outline of, of the Pokemon and everything. It's really cool, very high quality stuff. So I love that. And then checking out all of the packs that we get. It's time to open these up and see which packs we got and how much, I guess, money and packs you get inside this $100 box. Because obviously the playmat is nice, the dice are cool, and the metal cards, I mean, the metal cards are sick. These are Pokemon packs, baby. It's all about the packs. So in this box, we got four Astral Radiance packs, which are selling for about $3 a pop, four Lost Origin packs, also selling for about $3, four Brilliant Stars, selling around $4 a pack, two Evolving Skies, selling closer to $5 to $6, and then one single Vivid Voltage pack at around $3. I don't know why they keep putting just one Vivid Voltage pack in these boxes. It's so weird to me. So. Let's open these up and see what's inside. Because obviously a big thing would be like, well, obviously, you know, you get a bunch of these packs, which is cool. And the packs are worth money, which is, I guess, nice. But what's inside? The question of if you're gonna make your $100 back comes from your luck in the pulls with a ra <laughs> Radiant Heat. Wow, I don't think I've ever pulled Radiant Heat Tran, actually. This is very cool. I didn't even know this had a, a freaking shiny in the set. Radiant Heat Tran on number one and the Avalog. Okay, all right, hot start. So I do wonder what our luck will look like. And I do like that in these boxes, I know it's $100, but it's official Pokemon company, so you know you're not gonna get scammed or a weird, I don't know, broken box. Bang. Oh, Hisuian Samurott V. Wow, this card is cool. I haven't really opened much um, Astral Radiance, so this is like, Kind of fun to explore the set a little bit. But I think one of the coolest things about these boxes being just kind of the variety of packs that you get. It's not just all one set. And apparently they're all freaking bangers. It's Mighty Anna, the Mighty Anna character card followed by a Garchomp V full art card. What is happening? Has this been a hit every pack right now? Is Astral Radiance this good? Did I miss out? Man, I feel like I did, dude. Full art Garchomp V? No way. Okay, well, here's our last Astral Radiance pack. Prove me wrong, Astral Radiance. Prove me wrong. Okay, can we eat four hits in a row? That'd be a little bit too much. I think I'd be overwhelmed with that. Bronzorg, lay me out. Okay, okay. Had to cool it down a little bit before we hopped into uh, Lost Origin now. Lost Origin, ah, God. So many memories with this set. Dude, I need the Giratina alt art or the Aerodactyl. That's what would I would want to pull for myself, personally. Bayonet. But again, I do really like just the mix of packs that you get, the mix of sets that you get. You get, well, how many? Five different sets in this one box. It's kind of nice. And all these sets are good too. All recent Sword and Shield sets, as we all know, Sword and Shield. Hisui and Arcanine V, uh, or Arcanine, the regular one. Nice. Sword and Shield sets, they're coming to a close here. This is, these are some of the final new sets that we're gonna be seeing. Obviously, we just got Silver Tempest, which I will be doing a 500 pack opening for the new Silver Tempest set. Unfortunately, inside this box, we don't actually have any Silver Tempest packs. It's, I guess this box was produced before Silver Tempest was ready to go. Um, so, a lot of Sword and Shield in this box, no Silver Tempest. But again, I do have 500 packs sitting in my living room right now, so we've got some Dude, freaking me and Arcanine, man. We're just homies. And a Namorous V into the Brilliant Stars. Time to Charizard hunt. But yes, got 500 packs of Silver Tempest. This is a set that I'm really looking forward to opening, mainly because there's some great art, alt arts 
to be pulled in it. Like the unknown, which could be fun. Oh, Mewtwo. But obviously the big chase card of that set will be that Lugia V alternate art. So stay tuned here on the channel. Subscribe if you have not already because we will be opening again 500 Actually, technically more like 750 packs because we're also doing a God Box. I love these God Box videos that PokerRev does and I think it's a really, really fun way to explore a brand new set because, well, I mean, you get hits in every pack. <laughs> so you get, a kind of, you get a good idea of what the hits look like in the set. So we've got those two Lost Origin, Lost Origin, uh, Silver Tempest videos, Eevee form character. Oh, yes, dude! I said we're going Charizard hunting, and we did! Wow, we freaking packed a Charizard in the Arceus box, man. Hey, dude, not investment advice, not saying it's worth it or not, but whoa, you know, let's freaking get it. Charizard V-Star coming out of the Arceus. Wow, in, an, in a double hit pack too, by the way, Eevee, you know, can't, can't count Eevee out. Oh, sick. Okay, that was cool, I guess. We'll just keep... Keep going with that, Dad. I like want to talk about Silver Tempest more because I'm just I'm so excited to open. I'm actually opening the I'm actually opening the 500 packs today on a live stream, so that's gonna be super duper sick. But um, bang! I guess we should focus on these packs too. Evolving Skies. Okay, we were two Evolving Skies pack. God, the memories behind this set, incredible! What an awesome, awesome set with some just. I mean, you have the Rayquaza alt arts. You got all of the EVs evolutions. Like this is. Definitely one of the best sets that has ever touched the Sword and Shield era, and one that I think will be always fun to open up throughout time. Green code card, ironically, as I say that, I get a bad pull. Could be something. Hey man, you never know, right? Never know. What? That was a green code card. Wait, how does this work now? Oh, it's the Black Borders. I debated myself. Wow, Sylveon VMAX. Let's go, dude. Okay, I don't wanna hype this box too much because I don't wanna you know, seem like a a, 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 what is it? A Pokemon company implant, but hey man, we're having a good time here. <laughs> okay, this is the last pack of box number one. We're gonna open up box number two after this, so stay tuned. But we've got the Vivid Voltage. I never get lucky out of these one Vivid Voltage packs. Oh, look at that, Barracuda. But dude, some, I mean, amazing hits coming out of the, the I can't believe we got a Charizard. Out of the first box, that was full art Gurchomp V as well. That was Radiant, that was really good. All right, all right, surely box number two will have something even crazier, right? I believe. We've got our two Arceus cards. Also, let me know in the comments, do you say Arceus or Arceus? Let me know your pronunciations down below. And all of our packs, which should be the same packs, right? Well, I like how they organize this. Wait, I'm now realizing that this was conveniently done and I made it difficult on myself. Yes, okay, same packs here. We got our Astral Radiance, we've got our Brilliant Stars, Evolving Skies, and Vivid Voltage. Let's do it again. This time we'll start with Evolve or Lost Origins. And fingers crossed, man, our luck keeps up because this has been pretty good so far with the openings. Ah, but yes, real quick on the Silver Tempest opening. God, I can't wait. So we're gonna open that up today. Bane it off the first pack. God, dude, this has been so good, this opening. Opening it up today, the 500 packs tonight, live on stream. And then what we're gonna do, like we did last time with the 500 pack opening, we're gonna take all the hits that we get, throw them into mystery packs, whether it be, I mean, it's literally everything. All the alternate art cards, we pull everything that we get from these packs. Bang, Pidgeot V. Actually, probably including all of the pulls that you see from today's video as well. Everything that we've got. And we did 500 packs of the Japanese set and pulled some alternate arts, full art trainers, secret rares. So we might include those as well in this big mystery pack auction thingy. So. Kabu Full Art. Dude, we're just like, are these weighted packs that the Pokemon company's throwing in here? They're not, they're not. Don't don't take that as a serious thing. But dude, this has been, I mean, really, truly non-stop hits out of these packs and these, and these, well, it is the, you know, Arceus God Box, right? It's gotta be sort of fire. But yes, yeah, so if you're at all interested in getting yourself some of the cards that you see pulled on the channel, we will be big Arcanine. Mystery packing them and live auctioning them over on Whatnot, so. Uh, link for that will be in the description below. Check it out if you want to pop in and grab yourself some cards. And just the nice thing about the mystery packs is that like the whole pack is somewhere between, probably now, because we have to overload them, somewhere between five to 10 cards. All of them are hits. Like the Radiant Hulk, Hulk Luka or the Dark Rite V. Like every card in the mystery pack. Dude, this is so good. And we're back in Astral Radiance, by the way. So I love the Radiance as a part of Astral Radiance. I mean that, okay, you know what? You know what's funny? I have never until this very moment connected the dots between the name of the set Astral Radiance and Radiant Cards. That's a real connection, right? When I said I missed that set, I really missed it. Okay, Pilots went Arcanine, all right. Couple more packs of Astral Radiance here. I would love to see if we can pull ourselves. I mean, obviously I'm not complaining remotely because we've gotten just literally hit after hit through the packs today, but maybe something Rainbow Rare, maybe something Secret Rare, maybe something Full Art Trainer again, it's B. 
Dude, ask and you shall receive the Jubilee Village secret rare gold card. W w this happens a lot in the channel to where I'll say something, and that happened with the Charizard. I was like, we're gonna go Charizard hunting. Hold the Charizard. Literally this video, Jubilee Village and the Bee, a double whammy pack. That was actually incredible. I literally, I weirdly called that. I, that was not planned. Oh my God. And again, this will probably be in those mystery packs. Oh, the mystery pack auction, by the way, will be happening on Tuesday most likely, or Monday when this video is uploaded. Just kind of stay tuned to my socials. That is ridiculous. Okay, last Astral Radiance pack, which has just absolutely blessed us. Oh my god. Should we try to manifest a, uh, what is it? Manifest an alternate art card? Maybe we pull a little ulti out of one of these sets? Another Radiant Hawk Luka. Let's freaking go, baby. All right, brilliant starts. I guess we're back to the Charizard hunt. I, I have pulled the cool Charizards out of this set. I've definitely pulled the Rainbow Rare Charizard V-Star. Um, again, that was just a cool moment we had, like, on stage in Germany. That was a really cool thing. So, maybe we can just keep that luck. Dude, this is ridiculous. What is going on right now? Okay, we got the Single Strike Urshifu V character card coming out of the pack. Let's go. I, I am not sure on the value of all of these cards, but I feel like, like, if we spend $100 on this, bang. Oh! Oh my god! Dude, <laughs> let's go, man! The Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX character card with Kabu. Oh, this is a, this is a big pull. This is very sick. Man, I, I just feel like if we spent $100 on this box, and we just, I mean, we literally have just gotten hit after hit. We got the silver, the silver, the, um, the metal cards, plus the, the play map, plus the Arceus things. I, I feel like we probably made our money back on this. Again, I, I don't know the exact values of all the cards that we're pulling, but I mean, it's just hit after hit, dude. Flygon V. That's always the weird thing with Pokemon cards. If, if you're if you're playing the game for value, obviously, you know, if you just open to enjoy opening, which I kind of do, then it really doesn't matter what you pull. But if you're kind of, you know, doing the hustle game, it really depends when you open up these boxes, Magmortar. It really depends on what you pull because you can leave the pack sealed and then sell them that way or hold onto them that way. Uh, or you can open them and, you know, test your luck and see what you get. And today, obviously, we have tested our luck, and I think we've come out winning. This has been an incredible opening. Zoelius and Drampa, and we're down here to the last two packs of box number two of this Arceus collection box. And man, again, I just, you know what? I'm satisfied with it. This was fun. The openings were great. I really, really like the metal cards. I think they came out awesome. Oh my god, we got a record. <laughs> We got a Rayquaza VMAX. Dude, and the second to last pack. Oh my god. Out of Evolving Skies too. So anything Rayquaza out of Evolving Skies is just a good freaking hit. That is gorgeous. Bro, what is happening? Okay, last pack. Surely, right, this is a dub. Wow, but an incredible box. I mean, so let me know in the comments. I mean, for $100, again, this isn't like some random mystery box. This is from the Pokemon Company. But for $100, do you think this box is worth it after watching today's video? Oh my god. Amazing Rares Zamazenta out of the last pack. Amazing Rares, by the way, I think Vivid Voltage was one of the last, if not the last set to get Amazing Rares, so they, I don't know if they'll hold their value, but they're valuable. And this last box, I mean, just, I mean, ins actually insane pulls out of this. Actually insane pulls. This was ridiculous. And that's a look inside the brand new $100 RCSV collection boxes from the Pokemon Company. If you enjoyed, leave a like and check out the other videos on screen. I hope you had fun watching that. I had fun opening. And stay tuned for that big silver tempest opening. See you next time.